Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another Hearthstone video. Today we're going to be doing another wing of Karazhan, which I'm super, super excited about. So we got five packs to open. We're going to play, obviously, the wing, hopefully defeat it, which of course we will. And yeah, guys, today is going to be a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and get to these packs. Let's see what we get. Nothing good all commons but even commons are good because i can dust them iron epic is good that's a dustable epic which is nice nothing good honestly with these pack openings i'm not even expecting anything good anymore i'm just kind of expecting to dust these things and uh make one cooler cooler card all right another epic that i'll be able to destroy nice so now, of course, we do have 800 gold that we can buy more packs with, but we want to save that gold for another wing of Karazhan, of course. So, let's go ahead and... Yeah, we did the first two wings already. Now we're up to the Manjari, which has some cool cards in it. So let's go ahead and buy this one. Alright, the purchase is complete. And we're going to go ahead and take this on. The curator guards the menagerie, home to Azeroth's most exotic creatures. Beyond lie the master's chambers and the portal to save Medivh. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see what the first thing is. Curator the curator. Is releasing the menagerie. We shall need to fix it. The hero has taunt. Well, I should make it really easy. I'll just go for his face all the time. Now, let's take a look at... Next week's is what I really want, though. Next week's is going to be exciting. <clears throat> but, let's go ahead and do the first one. I think we're going to play with our standard druid deck, just because it's so standard. It's not hard to play. It's just got cards in it. So, we're going to go ahead and do this one. And it's lagging a bit, but we're good, we're good, we're good. Let's go ahead and take on the first boss, you could say, curator. But it should be pretty easy, I'm not going to lie, it shouldn't be that hard. I'll touch all the displays. I will touch every single display. Alright, what are our first cards? Good, bad, bad. Okay, well, it's good, decent, terrible. Big Game Hunter. I don't even know why I have this in here. Right now, I shouldn't need it. Um, we got even a better first drop, though, the Lowly Squire. The reason it's better right now is because with our hero power, we can buff it. But it's probably going to die. Oh, it didn't die. That is crazy. But yeah, with our hero power, we can actually buff it. So, Lowly Squire is a little bit better. And I was extremely lucky that it didn't die either. I was close. That was way too close. Alright, Mana Crystal, what are you going to... Or, not Mana Crystal, the coin, what are you going to do? Alright, that's really good. He's going to waste the Lightning Storm on one minion. That That is good for us. Very good. Let's go ahead and stick the Leper Gnome and then Hero Power. It's probably... It's the only option we have right now. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Oh, he just skipped a turn. Got it. Um, Let's go ahead and Dark Iron Wolf. Give that a... A one turn buff. Comply with all gallery protocols. Now I'm good. I need to save that dude. Alright, he's gonna use another lightning storm. I'm just gonna kill my Lepernome, but it won't kill that, which is fine. Unless he has Arcane Blast. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna play this. Oh, we're gonna charge it because again, this guy has taunt, meaning that we really just need to charge him really hard. The curator is confused. You'll need to stop it before it releases everything. Gotcha. So let's just go ahead and charge it. Next turn, we'll be able to play another charge. This must remain inside the menagerie. Nah, I'm good, fam. I'm good. No more dragon droppings. Okay, a random dragon. That was a terrible dragon. Probably the worst dragon he's could, he could have gotten, so I'm okay with this. Where shall I strike? I'll we'll just get two taunts up here. So we just need three more health, and we will be able to kill him. 
Summon a random dragon. Please be a terrible one. Oh, that's terrible. That is, that is diabolical, actually. This game really hates it. Hates itself. And you know what? We'll even take out the curator ourselves. Easy, 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 easy. I like it. And then, of course, we get some cards. Which is fine. Who's next? Sorry. Please assist in recapturing the creatures. Alright, we're gonna fight a dragon. Let's go ahead and use our standard druid deck like before. And see what we can do. Hopefully it'll be just as easy as the first one. The first one is actually super easy, I'm just gonna be honest. Just Nightbane. Sick. Spooky. I must protect the wild. Let's get rid of all these. All those are garbage. I need a one mana, one mana, no one mana. All right, cool. Give him one mana. Oh, lovely squire. But I don't even need a one mana actually. What am I? What am I on about? Yeah, the whole thing about this fight is everyone says it's ten mana, so I don't even know why. Why I wanted a one mana. All right, he's gonna return that. That's fine. That is completely fine. Ooh, Malagos. He pulled out a Malagos. Whoa. It's okay, though. We'll, 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 we will be able to do a little bit of that. One, two. Tutus. Malagos went to the face. Hopefully he doesn't do something crazy right here, though. Then you may proceed. If he does something crazy, that could be bad. But he doesn't do anything crazy. Alright, he actually almost kills his own Malagos. So that's nice. We're gonna think we're gonna go ahead and uh, play the Ancient of War. Hmm. I think about the smartest way to do this. I don't want to rush into this. We gotta do this smart. Smart, smart, smart. I'm gonna go ahead and give that extra ten. We're using so yeah, we'll go ahead and kill a Malagos, and then we'll just go ahead and go face, because in the end we gotta rush it still. So yeah. All right, guys. These last two games have gone exactly my way, honestly. Like, a lot of these things that happen, you guys don't realize, but they're just so unlucky for the other other enemy because he he redirected, but he hit my Lepernome. Lepernome was literally the worst thing he could hit, but now he's dead, so it's okay. Alright, that is the first two battles done. Easy, just first try, very quick, not even close. Now we got the third battle, though. The Demon Illhoof. Trishian Ill. Alright, let's go ahead. Start this battle. So now, I gotta explain this battle a little bit because this battle is a little bit weird. And you guys haven't seen it on camera, but I have failed this a good 20, 10 to 20 times. So, yeah, I kind of jinked myself the first two battles. This one's actually kind of hard. If you don't know how to play it. It's hard if you don't know how to play it. But I've made a completely new deck just specifically for this so what happens is you can't actually damage Il ilhoof by yourself the only way he gets damaged is if you kill those little imps so anytime that imp dies it deals two damage to him and over time he'll keep summoning those until he has like a board full of those imps and then that's why i'm saving this consecration over here to like a big damage so if he has a board full of those that'll do like 20 damage to him so that's gonna be my plan here i have a lot of giant burst damage and i have a lot of small minions that can take them out one by one you guys will see though you guys will see let's go ahead and buff that and then do a little bit of damage and again, the reason I picked the Paladin class for this fight specifically is because of his hero power. The hero power is summon a 1-1. That'll be perfect 
to take out his 1-1s and deal 2 damage to him. So really, anytime I summon one of those, it does 1 damage. Other than that, because that card is amazing, but... Yeah. Let's go ahead and give this 5-5 five, five and destroy one of those. We really need to get those imp game bosses out of here because, honestly, my biggest threat right now is those imp gang bosses. Everything else isn't a threat. Those are. Alright, so he's starting to summon more of those, which is nice. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you. Honestly, that was the only thing standing in my way of this win, and he just destroyed it himself. I am so thankful for that. All right, let's go get a let's get a good bomber up in here. Let's get a good bomber. One. Oh, that's beautiful. That I don't even care about the third one. That was beautiful, guys. It took care. I don't even care that it didn't hit his imps because those imps, they're not like hardcore bad for me. But those two imps were. Whoopsies. Those other ones were because even if I killed them, they didn't do any damage, and I really need to get rid of them. So that bomber was amazing. Let's go ahead and give some buffs. Let's go ahead and destroy some imps. Let's destroy some imps. And then we can uh, win this battle very quickly. Yeah. So he's going to keep hitting my face, but I'm okay with him hitting my face because it's not going to do much to me. Alright, that's a little bit dangerous. But it's okay. We got a lot of one manas we can pull out, so... By next turn, he should be dead. Theoretically, he should be dead. I really need him to summon some more imps, though. For my concentrate to work very well. I need more imps. More imps, please. Nice. Do another one. Do another one. Ah, oh, that's perfect. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And that should be him dead? If we get a good bomber, that's him dead right there. So now we're going to do a lot of damage. Alright, so now what are the chances of my bomber missing? I need two of my bomber's bombs to hit them. So right now, there's six of them on the field. There's two of us. There's a total of eight people. That's... That's a high chance for me to win. This is a high chance. One... Two, that's a W right there, guys. Actually, all three of them hit. But we don't need more than one because he's dead. So, guys, that is Ilwoof. Ilhoof, Ilwoof, whatever. He is gone. So, that is cool. Alright, we can get our last treasure box. Cool. Mandri is defeated. And we got the curator. Nice. Nearly to the top. We need to save. So guys, next episode we will do the last wing. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and do a tavern brawl. Now this tavern brawl is weird. So I'll explain it to you guys. In this game, there's a card called the Shifter Zerus, Zerus, whatever. I don't know what is how to uh, say it, but each turn it transforms into a new minion so this entire tavern brawl is you get 30 of these and it's kind of all based on rng if you get good minions and yeah that's really it so you guys will see it in my hand they'll all change to a random minion and this happens every turn so yeah that's actually disciple of kathun is a perfect card because it can take care of his one one so that's a really good card actually and we do start with three mana which is interesting but yeah guys yeah, we're going to go ahead and play one Tavern Brawl just for fun. And add a little bit of time onto this video. And we'll try to defeat this priest. So Ooh, a Death Lord. That is interesting. Yes, I like those. I like those a lot. Mm. I guess we'll put this in action. Yeah, we'll put this in action. You know, I think we're going to go face. Because either way, if he attacks, he has to destroy it. So I'll just let him destroy it himself. So that's fine. And 
And yeah, guys, so far the game is going amazing. So far, at least. And even if he destroys my Death Lord, what will come out is just one of those Xeris, Shifter Xeris things. So it'll be fine even if he destroys it, to be honest. I wonder. Actually, no, they won't. Whatever, even if he destroys it, it'll be fine. Because it's just such, such a giant taunt, he won't be able to destroy it for so long. By the way, this this is the slowest priest I've ever played. I'm not even kidding. This guy takes forever. So it, it literally took him a good 15 seconds to heal himself. Alright, come on, man. Come on. I got an episode to record. Let's get going. I right, gave it stealth. <coughs> okay, so we're going to play, I think, Raging Worgen. I think that's the best option here. And then, I guess we'll play Manor Aether. We've got so much on the board. At this point, we just got to kind of put out some minions. Yeah. Then we'll just go ahead and kind of rush his face a little bit. We'll go ahead and rush his face. Once again, the slowest priest of all time is taking his time. All right, Direwolf Alpha, cool, cool, cool. Does he have anything else up his sleeve? Oops, I broke a taunt. All right, he has a taunt, but he does not have enough to take care of that, which is kind of sad. Ooh, that's a good card actually. This one. You know, we'll, we'll do the worgen, make him taunt or er, raged up. And we'll go out and take care of some of his minions just so he doesn't do anything crazy. Yeah, and then we'll go ahead and attack his face with whatever we got. Play this. And I think we are set. And I do not want to play that tentacle because it'll kill everything I have. So I do not want to play that tentacle. You have been. It is done, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you like and comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.